Hey guys, what I'm going to teach you is how to make a pathfinding NPC in Roblox. And the first thing to do is obviously get into Roblox Studio, but we're also going to need an NPC. We can quickly get one by making a clone of ourselves, so let's click on play to get in the game. Obviously we have our little character here, so what we can do is go into workspace, look for our character, highlight over all of these here. What I did was just click from the top, hold shift, then click at the bottom, right click and copy. Hit stop to go back into normal studio mode and then paste that into workspace. And as you can see, we have our character. We're going to press control G to group it and you can name it into anything you want. I'll just name it sub 2 WRD, hint, hint. I'm not able to click this character, which would be a pain to kind of drag it around the map. So what we can do is just hover over all of the bricks. We'll just unlock everything and now we should be able to drag it around the map. And the last step to make this a finished NPC is to copy all of this code here into a server script. So we'll right click on the NPC model, insert object, and we insert a server script. So let's copy in all of that code, paste that here. And then right at the bottom of the code, you should see a setup emote chat hook. You're going to want to get rid of that entire function. Let's delete the old animation script, rename this one to the new anime. It doesn't matter if you rename it, but it would help to know which is which. Now that we have a proper NPC, let's start trying to make it walk around. So anywhere on the map, I'm just going to insert a part. This is going to be our destination. I want to make our character walk there. And just to make it easier for what's going on, I'm going to rename it to dest short for destination. And let's create a new script inside of our NPC model. So right click on your model, insert object, put in a new script. I'm going to just set a proper name, say moving boy, and set a quick little variable char equals script that parent it's pretty obvious we're saying that the character is the parent of the script which is our npc character to make your character actually walk it's very simple all you need to do is navigate over to the character so i already defined a variable with char navigate to the humanoid put a colon move to and then what you would pass as a parameter inside of the move to method is the vector 3 position so what we can do is just vector 3.new 000 and it's just going to walk to the 00 position make him walk from there to 000 and if we hit run you see that he walks over to 000 and thanks to this animation script he's already pre-animated now let's try making him walk over to this brick here obviously all we would need to do is grab the position property of the destination brick so dest equals game dot workspace dot dust dot position and then we can just pass that position as the first parameter in the move to method so let's hit run and then he walks over to this brick here and just to show you a little cool thing, I'm going to put this inside of a loop, so while true do, add a delay so this doesn't crash. We're also going to want to move this inside of the loop to update the position every time. And once we run, like usual, he walks over to the brick. But if we move it, he'll try to follow it around a little bit. He'll chase it. But if we put a brick in the way, he can't get to it. He doesn't know how to. He's just trying to walk to where the brick is, but with something in the way. Obviously for him to get to this brick, he's going to need to walk around, and we can use that using the pathfinding services offered by Roblox. And to get a quick little solution up, it only takes around like 10 lines, it's really easy. So let's get rid of this code here and set up the pathfinding service. So we'll just create a variable named pathfinder and set it equal to the pathfinding service. So game get service quotations pathfinding service now we're going to need to create a path object so we'll just create a variable name it path set it equal to our pathfinding service and call create path to create your path object and if you'd read it it's plain english it's going to create a path now using our path object we're going to need to compute a path and to do that you would just call in your path object and then call compute async it takes two parameters, which is basically your starting position and your end position. Of course, both vector threes. So our starting position would be our character, and then we'd want our end position to be this destination brick here. Really, from our character, we're going to start it off from humanoid root part, but if you wanted, you can use torso ahead. But the humanoid root part's in basically every single NPC, so I'd recommend using that as your starting point. So let's create our start position. Make a variable, maybe name it start position and set it equal to the character dot humanoid root part dot position and then our end position would be the destination brick so game dot workspace dot dest dot position now let's pass those start and end position start position comma end position at this point we know that a path has been computed and it would look something like this here it's going to just create a bunch of different points that your character is going to try to walk into it's just a list of positions now that we know it's just a list of positions let's start looping through each position and then making our character move to each position i'm going to use a for loop so for i index waypoint which is going to be the actual 
position point. So the first loop is going to be this point, second point, blah, blah, and then path get waypoints. This here actually grabs the waypoints. Do and then finish off your loop with an end. Again, each waypoint inside of this waypoints list is a vector three position. What we'll do is make our character walk to that vector three position. So like what we did earlier, we do char dot humanoid call move to and then say waypoint dot position. We're also going to want to add a delay, otherwise this loop will just skip immediately on to the end. To do that, you just do char dot humanoid dot move to finished wait. And like usual, if we hit run, our character will walk over to the destination. And now to show you that the pathfinding is actually working, we're going to put something in the way. Hit run, then watch him walk around it. Wow, pathfinding. But there's another thing. If it's too short, like say it's jumpable, it'll still walk into that. It's jumpable and he's trying to walk into it, which is a little bit of a problem but there's a really easy fix. What we would do is just check if the waypoint is jumpable. If waypoint dot action is equal to enum dot path waypoint action dot jump, then we make our character jump, which would be char dot humanoid call change state then pass an enum dot humanoid state type dot jumping. So just to explain again, this if statement will check if we're supposed to jump on this waypoint. And if we're supposed to jump, then we make our character jump and we should see that happen. We'll make it run, and he jumps. Let's make this path a little bit more complicated. Let's give him a little bit of an obby to complete. Now if we hit run, we're going to see our little NPC here path find its way over to the destination brick. Notice how it didn't go around this way. It takes the most efficient path, but you just made your own pathfinding NPC. Let's annoy our NPC a little bit more. So let's just wrap all of this inside of a loop while true do and and run. Let him pathfind his way over. And yeet. It's gonna try to find his way back. Yeet again. It's kind of fun messing with him. And he's found his way over. So I pretty much just taught you everything you need to know to pathfind. It only takes these few lines of code. You can always make your project more complicated by making it follow the closest player, like a zombie would, I guess. There's a lot you can do with pathfinding. It makes your NPCs look a lot more smart. If this video helped you out, please leave a like. I'll really appreciate that. Thank you for watching and have a good 